so this is the two skirts that i will be cutting like as you can see the only thing you need for this kind of two skirt is um the soft net which is on top there is a stiff net that is making it look full under this and then a satin that is the same length as the net is underneath of this the length of the skirt is going to be 30 so for me is a mid length skirt not really mid length but it's not short so it's 30 and this is the first one that would be underneath and i cut the stiff net to be the same size and length with this this is going to push the light one on that this is the stiff one so it's the same measurement as the satin and this is the elastic band it's two inches i use i'm using two so that it can relax so fully well on my waist so this is two inches you have to measure your waist with the elastic band the way it's going to be comfortably relaxed on your waist but not too loose you have to make it tight not too loose so this is going to be my waistband and for the elastic i'm going to stitch it here and close it and then i will overlock because i'm not covering my elastic it's going to be like this and i'm trying to show you something so that when i pull it it's going to be the thing that will draw this so i keep these two aside and then for my net i will show you on the paper what i did this net now is the main fabric as you can see it is very soft so what i did is that i bought three yards of fabric of this soft net so from here to here is three yards so instead of me cutting i did not cut it because i have made two skirts severally and this is the easiest pattern that i have ever made so i folded the fabric into two like this and it's giving me 30 inches here 31 inches from here to here so instead of cutting and joining i will not do that so i'm going to fold it into two and i'm going to so here is already folded and if your own net is too long like you bought like six yards you want it very very full so what you can do is that you fold it like i have done and you still fold it into two so that you can reduce yourself the stress of sewing all through the six yards and then drawing the cutters so what you have to do is that you fold it so that it is less trust me when you fold and get it smaller it and still do the gathers it's going to be full like you wanted it to be full so i folded it into two instead of sewing here i will not sew here i'm going to sew my loose stitch here that i'm going to pull later as the gathers and then later I can cut here and here is the length of my skirt so when you cut through here it's going to look very neat and well arranged so to show you what i have done here like i explained i already had this arranged so when you buy it it's already folded because it's so lengthy it's already folded but still fold it to the length that you want it to be because it's already folded when i bought it so when you fold it it's going to be one two three four so you see the layer is already thick not very light so when you pull the gathers as much as you can it's still going to come out very full see i'm going to pull all this i'm going to do my loose stitches from this end till i get to this part and i'm going to draw my gathers so that it is the same as this i'm not going to pull this so much so it's the same like this one make sure to hold this with your small fabric clips i will link this up in the description box below so you can have it it's very helpful when it comes to holding things like this so make sure that they are the same no mistakes
now when i'm done with clipping my fabrics i'll go and sew the loose stitches starting from here and i'll sew it all through that's sewing i made it two lines and you know one thing with sewing these lines you have to pray that it doesn't cut off on the way it's going to be disastrous this is what i'm going to do this is the only job when making it too scared so enjoy and after drawing my hip is 44 so i added 7 inches extra and that is what i have here so this is my entire waist now then i'm going to sew the satin with my stiffness together and I'm going to make sure that it's the same as this. This is my front satin. Then I would place this. I would place the stiff one on top of my stiff satin and I'm going to sew it all round. Please leave your question in the comment section if you don't really understand what I am doing because it may be getting confused. But I'll try my best to answer all your questions. So just like the same way you did your other clip, I'm going to pin it round and I will sew the stiff one to the satin. After sewing the stiff net together to the satin, this is it, they are together now and I hemmed the satin edge as well very neatly and that is the only thing you will be hemming when making a two skirt. So now as this is ready, I'm going to put my soft net on top of this. So I have to put my gathered net on top of the satin and the stiff one and using my clip I'm going to hold it together here and I will overlock. What I have to do now is that I will place it head to head then using my hand I'm going to adjust the gather so that they are evenly arranged. Then I can go and putting them together, starting from the end like this, I'm going to overlock all this way to this way and then this way to this end. But I have to arrange the gather so that it matches with the one with my satin and the stiff net. So after overlocking, I'm going to join the two sides together and my skirt comes up to this. So after sewing, I will just spread out the seam and I'm going to iron at the center of the seam, opening it up. Make sure not to use hot iron as it's going to burn the clothes and it's not going to look nice just like i explained before so i'm going to overlock and sew my elastic band so after stitching it this is what it looks like very neat and with my chalk 
I'm going to mark out the four points starting from the center because this is going to help me why sewing it onto the waist very easily it's going to make the job easier to sew on and as i have marked on my elastic i'm going to do same on the waist band so i can place it perfectly without overdoing on any side So what I'm doing now is that I am aligning the places I joined on the elastic and to the waist together and I'm placing the elastic on top of the fabric and you pin it round and I pin it like this to the area that I marked my chalk. Now I'm going to take it to the machine and I stretch it as I sew. You pull the elastic and you sew it all round. This is our tool skirt almost ready. And now that it is like this, I am going to cut the end. Remember, it is folded. So if I leave it like this, it's not going to look nice when you cut it it's going to bounce and it's going to look even more beautiful letting the ends out our tool skirt ready now thank you for watching and please subscribe if you haven't